Alright, so it's about 6 o'clock in the morning and about 11 o'clock last night everything started beeping and crunching and grinding in my house um, the motors from the fridge and freezer just you just heard them thudding turning on and off, on and off, on and off every uh, I don't know, 30 seconds um, and we've got no output power that's because it's turned off at the moment so I'll turn it on with the switch down here and we got, oh we've got voltage, look yay and now we don't now I haven't got a load connected to that at the moment because it's just cutting in and out it's just, it, it would have wrecked something for sure, something would have broken um it's drawing from the um, from the battery, but there's nothing coming out. The batteries aren't charging yet, but it's showing that the solar is starting to kick in. The sun hasn't quite come up yet. So, needless to say, I am not at all happy. Less than seven days old, and my MPP solar unit has failed. Now. This last night, I've got the log files on the computer inside, um, and I'll whack that up at the end of the video. Uh, it was drawing less uh, than 100 watts, so nothing was really on. It was a cold night last night, so ceiling fans weren't on and stuff like that. So it was basically um, like the TVs and stuff on standby. That's the only power it was drawing, and I think it was uh 24.6 volts or something when it clicked off um yeah it hasn't even been seven days seven days will be in a few hours time probably by the time youtube actually lets me upload this video um but yeah i'm, I'm a bit worried about actually trying it again um because i don't want to damage my fridge or freezer or my the microwave was beeping on and off and my tvs and everything everything was on and off and um, last night when that was happening, that um, the voltage there on the right was was coming on, then coming off, coming on, then coming off. So something's gone wrong. I've tried the little reset button down here, so that's not it. And you know, I've got all my fuses in here, so that turns the um, that turns the outgoing power off. So if I turn it off down here again, turn it back on again, it comes back on and then disappears again. So, um, it's, it's, I mean, it's all working. The, this side of it's working, the input's working. So I don't know what's going on, but I, I've sent an I've sent a email already off to the people that I bought it from, so I'm not complaining yet. I mean, you know, manufacturing faults and all that sort of stuff, but it'd be different if it was under load or heavy load, but it certainly wasn't under a heavy load and I think it's only overdrawn probably twice uh, one from a kettle and one from a microwave being turned on um, but it just overdrew and then it did what it should do and then it, you know a couple of minutes later it clicked back to the um, to the battery again and it all worked uh, drawing about 120 odd amps from the battery until it overdrew so um, this is not a complaining video because um, in my experience, dealing with MPP has always been a very quick affair, so I dare say they'll, they'll deal with this quickly as well. Um, I'll provide them with the tax invoice from the electrician setting it all up last Thursday, a week ago. And um, just so they know it was done properly. Um, I pride myself on doing stuff properly and keeping stuff neat, except for that, because that's just a, a mess. I've got extension cords and just because I haven't got that PowerPoint. And they're supposed to come, ironically, they're supposed to come back today to put that PowerPoint up there for me. Um, so, yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll include a little bit of the, um, uh, the log file, just so you can see the voltages and stuff and the time it clicked out. I've just got to get that sorted, so I'll get that done. Um, thank you. If anybody's got any ideas as well, whether this unit just needs resetting or I don't know, maybe it's a computer, it just needs turning off and then turning on again. I don't know. Um, 
a little bit annoyed. The wife is, oh my god, the wife is unhappy. You know, I've spent. I haven't spent that much money. Look, it's not a lot of money, but you know, it was our spare play money that I spent doing this, and it was meant to save us money at night. And I promised all this. I, I promised the world. I may have lied, but I promised the world. And then seven days later, the world got blown up by Russia. So anyway, um, that's it for this part. I'll um, put some of the log files on when I get to the other computer inside the house with a bigger screen. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this might be a bit hard to see. Um, I'll try and hold as close as I can. But this is where we had the problem last night. Uh, 11.30 at night. Battery mode, battery mode, standard mode, standard mode, battery mode, standard mode, battery, 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 standard, battery, and then back to line. Um, now, even in line mode, um, Let's see if I can do this. Even in line mode, when it was in line mode, it wasn't outputting anything. It, um, in line mode, it was zero output on the active power and the apparent power as well. Um, so just scroll down the whole heap. So we were, well, at the time it died, we we're only doing 80. 86 watts not even yeah so it's so that's when it died it was on battery mode then it went to standby mode and battery mode again a little bit time later so that's when the problem started last night the battery wasn't flat the battery capacity well that number is a load of shit but anyway output voltage so that's when it all started going wrong last night. So if anybody's got any ideas, please fill me in. Now there's also, I still haven't worked out this side of things, um, the event log. We've got nothing up here in the event log. We've got, I can't work out how to populate that field. Google searches and whatever. I'm a computer tech by trade, I can't work it out, but I don't design the stuff, so. You know, it could be a tick box or somewhere I'm not doing under that, it's probably obvious. But yeah, so I've got no, um, got no uh, event log, which probably would have helped. Um, now this video, again, I'm telling you this again, I'm, this is not a bitching wind in video, I don't do things like that. It is simply an informative video, this is what happened, um, this is what was happening at the time, and the result is I'm paying for power, which I'm not happy about. But it's not the end of the world, I guess. Um, as long as I can get this fixed quickly and um, get it back on again, we will be more than happy. Given that I've spent just, a, just as much on an electrician as I have on the device itself, that's the bit that really annoys me. And it's only... I've had it for uh, probably two and a half months now. And I only got it installed a week ago just because I was getting all this stuff together and the electrician wouldn't install it until they knew it was legal and... They wanted a whole heap of inform extra information, the Australian standards and this and that, and whether it complied to the codes and whatever else. Um, I like my electrician, he does stuff right, not twice, which is always a good thing. Um, but yeah, but that's come back again. Secondary CPU version. Now last night, that's interesting, and that's really doing a horrible job of focusing, I'm very sorry, but it really isn't the end of the world. Let's get out of the remote desktop. That's another log file there. Last night I took a screen dump. And this is Windows 10 on a really old computer. That's what I had last night when it was playing up. No secondary CPU version. Now I haven't retested it this morning. Maybe I should, I don't know, I'm scared of messing it up. But that was that was late last night. That was, oh, that was about midnight last night I took that. So, yeah. Okay, well, if anybody's got any ideas, let me know. Um, I'm going to send a link of this video over to who I bought it from. So maybe they might have some insight and let me know what to do or whatever. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for now, guys.